So today I'm going to share with you an unboxing and my first impressions of this Garmin 4Runner 255. Um, it's the music version, so I'm going to just quickly share with you an unboxing and then talk a little bit more about it, kind of my thoughts. So I ordered this um, from Wiggle and it comes in a packaged brown box as you would expect with a lot of deliveries. Um, so I'm just going to open the box up very quickly and show you what's inside. It's very well packaged inside as you can see and um, also I got a packet of Haribo with it which is a bonus, that's quite nice. The box for the watch is actually quite small as you can see. I guess you don't need to waste a lot of packaging on something that's quite small. Just name and the colour on the box outside. Now let's go ahead and open it up. As you probably noticed I like to open my things quite neatly with a Stanley knife rather than just ripping everything open. I just like to have things neat and tidy for some reason in case I need to sell it on in the future or something like that. So let's just open up and see what's inside the actual box. So I got the color black. It's actually a really nice black. I've not seen it in person. Um, I've only seen it in some pictures and when it's been featured in some people's videos. It also comes with a charging cable and some safety information and then also a manual which I never read. Normally if I need to look up something I will just google or I'll just watch someone's video and see how something's done. I never read any manuals which I probably should. Um, let's just get it out of the rest of the packaging and see what it looks like. It looks really good. I love the colour. I'm really happy with it. So here's the watch and it's the music version. I got it in the black colour with the kind of yellowy neon kind of ring around it. Um, I was convinced I was going to get the slate grey because I don't really need the music feature on the watch so I was convinced I was going to get the grey one to save some money but uh, there aren't that many pictures and videos on that particular colour but the pictures that I have seen on that slate grey just doesn't look that nice in certain light. I feel like when you're in a dark room and it almost looks like dark grey then it looks nice but I feel like in daylight it kind of looks a lighter grey that I was expecting and to me it didn't it just didn't look very nice. It kind of made the watch look a little bit cheap. <laughs> Whereas the black one, I feel like it looks really classy and in any light it kind of looks really nice and it goes with kind of everything I wear because I generally wear dark clothes, like I wear black a lot and yeah, it just goes really well. So the two colours I really liked is the black one and the white one looks really nice as well. I was kind of deciding between the black and the white but I was worried the white is going to get quite dirty especially because I let wear a lot of dark clothes and in the UK it's cold a lot so I feel like most of the times throughout the year I'm wearing long sleeves which means the white strap could probably get really dirty and I just don't like the idea of it getting like old and dirty looking so I got the black one. Um, I think in the summer I'm going to get a white strap um, just for the summer months if we get a summer and that might only be one month a year so I feel like the black one was a better choice for me personally. So they do have some other colours to choose from depending on the size um, you go for whether the 255 or the 255 S um, and then also whether you want the music version or not the music version so there's a variation of colours that you can choose from. I went for the 255 um, because I, I really like big watches and I feel like the 255S is going to be a bit too small for me. When I was doing research on this watch I couldn't really find any sort of pictures or videos of people wearing them on a smaller wrist or kind of my size wrist so I really struggled deciding on what size to get initially. And I feel like here in the UK, none of the shops seem to sell them or have them on display. Some of them have the previous version 245, so I've kind of put that against my wrist and thought, oh, that looks quite small. So I think that kind of helped me decide to go for the 255, the bigger version. But yeah, I really struggled to kind of find any information or like I said, any pictures to kind of show what it looks like on certain types of wrists or on lady size wrists. Because a lot of the ladies pictures that I've seen wearing the 255 is the 255 S which didn't really help because it kind of looked normal on their wrist so yeah I kind of really struggled. I thought the 255 was going to be too big because for some reason in my mind I thought I was comparing it in my head that it's going to be like a G-Shock watch that is going to be chunky and very big on my wrist and my plan was to wear it um, at night when I sleep as well so I was worried that it's going to be massive but it actually turns out to be quite small. Um, I I don't have a big wrist I don't think. Um, I have my wrist is about six inches. When I looked at some charts online um, I think I'm a small wrist but to me this 
255 bigger version kind of feels really small and looks really small on my wrist um so yeah i was kind of hoping it would be a little bit bigger because I, like i say i like big watches but this one's actually very small um and i don't feel it when i wear it um the strap's really really comfortable it almost has like a, a kind of stretchy material to it so i don't actually feel it before this one i had the fitbit charge 4 even though that watch was smaller i feel like i could feel the fitbit on my wrist more than i could feel this one um so yeah this one's just really comfortable really light and i i really like it the other reason i went for the bigger version is because it has a slightly longer battery life at the moment i feel like um i need to charge it maybe every week and a half so i feel like initially the battery seems like it goes down quite quickly so for the first two three days it kind of goes down to sometimes like 75%, 76%. So I feel like the battery drains quite quickly at the start once it's charged up to 100%, but then afterwards it kind of slows down. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah, originally when I first charged it, I thought, oh, the battery's not gonna last very long because in two or three days, it's already gone down kind of that much in my opinion. Um, but then throughout the days afterwards, um, yeah, the battery goes down quite slowly. So yeah, I was a bit surprised by that. Um, the battery life is really good. Um, I turn off everything because I don't I don't use any smart watch features main reason being because I do the same on my phone I switch off all sounds and all notifications because I don't want my phone to keep telling me check me check me look at me and constantly telling me I need to do something and the same with my watch I don't want it to constantly beep at me or vibrate at me telling me oh someone's messaged me or I need to do this and do that so yeah I don't use smart watch feature on my watch I kind of really wish they did other colors on the non-music version like like I said, I don't feel like I need the music feature on this watch, um, but I just didn't really like the colours of the non music. music, um, but I think that's probably why they did it, because the white and the black is probably the more popular option, so they kind of want you to <laughs> spend more to get those colours, even though you don't need the feature. I know a lot of people quite like the idea of having um, the music on there, but for me, um, I didn't want to spend that much. Um, I did get this one in the January sale, so I saved myself £50 on this watch, um, which is really good, um, but it's still quite an expensive watch. And yeah, I've taken a long time to think about it. I've been thinking about it probably since I restarted running last year towards maybe October, November time. I've been thinking I want another watch that could help with my runs. And then I was waiting for kind of Boxing Day sale because it's just, like I said, quite a lot of money for a watch but then I didn't see anything come up that was really good. So then I ended up waiting a bit longer and then in January, finally, <laughs> 50 pounds off, I thought I'm gonna go for it because I don't feel like it's gonna go down anymore anytime soon. And I've been thinking about for long enough to actually spend the money to get this one. I even considered getting the 245, which is the previous version of this one, um, because I could save even more money, but that one is a bit small, I find. I feel like the 245 probably compares a bit more to the 255S, um, which for me was just too small um, looking at pictures so yeah I'm happier with the bigger version so far I've been really enjoying this watch I feel like I've had a lot of benefits from it just from like my, my runs doing different types of runs and then tracking kind of my stats and be able to see my pace as I run um, has really helped me kind of know what I'm doing with my runs because I want to improve my pace and just generally improve kind of my my runs for the year so it's really nice to kind of have those stats at a glance for example, if I'm out on a run and I feel like I'm really out of breath and really struggling and then I can look at what my watch and I can see that or oh, actually because I'm running a little bit faster than I normally would or I'm pushing a little bit too hard rather than just me thinking, why am I so tired? Why can't I feel like I'm doing a good run? But I feel like just having a watch to kind of let me know why I'm feeling a certain way really helps me at the moment. I know it's something really basic and simple, but yeah, if I feel like, oh, I'm, I don't feel too tired, I feel really good. But again, I look at my watch and it's actually because I'm running really slowly and then I, I know I need to go a little bit faster and that I still have kind of energy to push a little bit harder. So yeah, I've really been enjoying this very, very much. And at the moment I can say it's money well spent, um, even though it was quite a lot. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my unboxing and my first impressions of the watch. I've only had this watch for about a month. Um, I'll probably do a pros and cons video kind of a little bit later on. So stay tuned for that video coming soon. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please consider subscribing and help me out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.